Monaco haven't lost at home in their last seven games, but they knew the visit of Bordeaux would be a tricky one. For Bordeaux, a win would close the gap with leaders Lyon to just one point, so they had everything to play for. They were looking to bounce back from a European defeat in midweek. In the league, they have lost just once in their last nine. Monaco manager Ricardo faces his former employers on his new patch for the first time. The home side are without Lucas Bernardi, who suffered a severe clash of heads on Tuesday in training. Diego Perez replaces him. Three changes in total with Jeremy Berto and Sergio Almiron left out in favour of Yoko Leco and Adriano. The visitors make four changes from the side that lost at Anderlecht during the week. Jussier, Ducasse, Aubertin and Chamac all make way for a completely different attacking lineup involving Wendell, Miku, Bellion and Cavanaghi, who is hot property right now. Your commentators at a wet Stad Louis Deux are Gary O'Reilly and Dan O'Hagan. Monaco get this game underway on week 25 of the season. The season nears its crescendo. Only 13 games to go and in that time we'll see if Bordeaux can mount a real challenge to the winners of the last seven seasons, Lyon. If they win here they will go to within one point only of the defending champions. He takes it short. Merriam again. Nenes through for Piquillon. It's Piquillon! It is wide. Legitimate threat, I would say. Lovely ball in. We've seen it. Little flick. Gets lucky, but reacts quicker than Enrique. Merriam's corner, Piquion's header, comes off the defender Diawara. He comes off his head, I'm not too sure he's in control of where it's going though. There's a scare for sure. Again, Wendell will take, here comes that corner, comes across to Diara and turned away by the goalkeeper Roma. Almost nonchalant from Diara, but uh, it works. Wendell again, away from Adriano this time, can he keep the ball in play? Can just, here's Miku, little dummy here for Kavanagi. Kavanagi, his fantastic run of scoring form continues, and Roma beaten, and Bordeaux take the lead, Fernando Kavanagi just cannot stop scoring right now. He draws the defender away, that opens up the space, and Kavanagi, I don't tell him what to do in front of goal, do I? Wendell's free kick for Bordeaux. Wendell's delivery. Not the worst ball in the world. This is Johan Miku. It's two. The veteran Miku with a powder keg firecracker finish. Ball up there. Good challenges. Don't quite deal with it. And then who reacts? Who anticipates? Beautiful strike. Keeper's got no chance. Bellion for Cavanaghi, no flag here, Cavanaghi! It is three for Bordeaux, it's that man again, Fernando Cavanaghi and Monaco here are self-destructing. The movement, the intelligence of the movement, the coolness of the finish. Defenders are trying to play offside, he times his run, draws the goalkeeper down. Third opportunity for Roman to pick the ball out in there. All red card here, Monaco down to 10. I think Perez was the man sent off here for the challenge. Diego Perez will walk for a straight red card from the referee. Monaco's day goes from bad to really, really bad here. Straight red card shown for this. Prince Albert at Monaco, team's number one fan, but his team here are three behind. Against the ten men of Monaco, Miku's ball fizzed in, and there is the fourth goal. Shemak this time has got his goal. It is a horror show for Monaco in the second half, but Bordeaux, they march on. Shemak, look, pulls away from his defender. They get trapped and sucked into the ball. 
Sambu, and that is all it takes. Toenda, everyone's at sea except the striker. Great vision, great determination, bit of bravery, and just rewards. A royal shake of the head from uh, Prince Albert. So used to get in his own way. Monaco here have been well beaten, but given their first half of this display, they'll be wondering how. Oh, they'll be shell shocked. You know, four unanswered goals in the second half is a lot to take. Miku here for Wendell. Wendell for Marouane Shamak here for Miku for 5 0. What a day for Bordeaux. Miku second, Bordeaux's fifth. All he does is he gets himself in a position, pulls right off the defender's back, which actually is Menez. The old master teaching the young pretender a trick or two. In he goes, Menez is ball watching, Miku not. Let it slide in. Thank you very much indeed. Well, oh, Ricardo, the former Bordeaux coach, has been well and truly beaten here in his former side. There's Ducas for Gabi Obertan here. It's Obertan! It is 6 0. Six of the very, very Bordeaux best. And Gabi Obertan seals a sensational second half. be a, a teller of fortunes but it's no surprise I feel for that man good finish tight angle power beats Roma he's up I think can you blame him Prince Albert has seen enough this is Wendell for Bordeaux and there's the whistle, a result to send shockwaves through League One, not least through Lyon, because Bordeaux are now just one point behind the six times champions. They have won here thanks to six second half unanswered goals. Final score Monaco nil, Bordeaux six.